Hi, Ray Coyne here for Global Recreation Network, UCCA Junior Golf. We're here live at Mill Pond Golf Course in Medford, New York. Today is the Fall Harvest Junior Golf Championships where we're going to be featuring Matthew Catton, Matthew Galino, and James Knight, all in the 12 to 14 year old age range. Uh, Andrew Nappy will be also representing from Jersey in the 16 to 18 age range. We'll be shooting off at 136 today. They will be shooting 18 holes today. Saturday and they'll be shooting another 18 holes on Sunday for a total 36 hole for the Junior Golf Championship. The winner of each age category will be playing the USA National Championship in Orlando, Florida later this year. Throughout this pregame show we'll be interviewing James Knipe Sr., former professional golfer, and we'll be interviewing the junior golfers on their approach to the Fall Harvest Tournament today. I'm Ray Coyne here live at Mill Pond Golf Course for the USA. National Golf Junior Tour. Thank you. Back here, Ray Coyne at the Global Recreation Network's USA Junior Golf Full Harvest Tour here at the Mill Pond Golf Course here in Medford, New York. Uh, the pregame show continues. We're here with James Knight Sr., a former professional golfer. Uh, James, we want to talk about um, first the weather conditions. As you can see out here, uh, it is very windy, it's rainy. Tell me about the preparations in conditions like this. Uh, most and foremost is to keep your, uh, your hands warm, you know, keep your body warm. Uh, the wind is, is not too bad today. It's got a little breeze into the face in some of the holes, but um, the rain's going to knock the ball down a little bit, and, and they'll have to use an extra club, some holes. And uh, But the greens will be receptive, so they'll be able to hit some nice shots into the green and hold the greens and won't be rolling over the green and stuff. So should be should be bad. Okay. Uh, for you and I out there, we're, you know, amateur golfers, and we just get up and we go tee off and we have a good time. But it's different for... Uh, the competitive golfers, the tournament golfers. Uh, talk to me about the mental um, psyche of, a, especially a junior golfer, on the eve of a tournament or the morning, in this case, the morning of a tournament. Well, Any superstition? Uh, not so much superstitions, but we, um, uh, for example, me and James this morning, we would go uh, kind of hole by hole on, on, we know the course, so we just kind of see what we would hit on what situations and um, try to just be on the same page with everything. You know, if, uh, if we're talking about a certain a uh, certain shot that we're going to hit into the green, whether it's a spin shot or a hit and release shot, um, that we're on the same page and the communication is good because that's that's the key when you're caddying, you know, is the communication and I'm there to support him. So whatever his decision is, I have to, uh, you know, support him with that and make sure it's positive. Superstitions, any out there for golfers? Um, not so much for James. He, uh, well, three tees in a pocket and a ball marker and a divot tool. Other than that, uh, that that's pretty much it, though. He always has, to have, always has to have those three T's in his pocket. Three T's. All right, James is also, uh, uh, he's going to be caddying today. He's also the father of James Knipe Jr. Now, we on the field, we do have uh, Matthew Catton, Matthew Galino, and James Knipe, all in the 12 to 14 age, grade, uh, age group. Uh, Matthew Galino, obviously the champion. He's ranked number one in New York State. He's finished the first two tournaments uh, as the number one golfer. So tell me, uh, what is your son James' approach to Matthew Galino, or he just golfs like it's uh, every any other tournament? Tournament. Um, well, you know, they all want to beat each other, of course. Um, you know, it's it, the best thing you do is try to go out and you play your own game. You gotta, he's got to play against himself, and it's sometimes when you get caught up into that, he tries to to beat his component when they're shooting a good score, and you can't. You can't control them. You can only control what he's doing. So he's that's the mindset we're trying to get. Is just trying to a plan is that play your best game, play shot for shot. Don't worry about last holes or bad shots, and uh, just. Play against yourself, not against somebody else. Okay. Okay. We heard from James Knipe Sr. We're, uh, we'll be back with the, the group of Matthew, Matthew, James, and Andrew. We'll be t speaking to them right before we tee off at 136. Again, Ray Coin, USA, Mill Pond Golf Course. Hi, Ray Coring here back at the Mill Pond Golf Course. Welcome to the pregame show of the Fall Harvest, the USA and Global Recreation Fall Harvest Tournament here for the USA Championship. I'm here with James Knipe, uh, Matthew Catton, Andrew Nappy, and Matthew Galino. Um, these are the four, and they'll be going out at 1.36 p.m. Now we're going we're gonna to ask them two questions, just two relaxing questions. First of all, we spoke to James Knife Sr. previously, and we spoke about the conditions. It is drizzling here. It is windy. Um, so we'll start with James. James, do you approach your eight first 18 holes differently in the rain and the wind? 
Uh, not really. I try to hit it lower to keep it out of the wind, but and uh, try to take a club more because of the uh, rain knocks the ball down a little bit. Okay. Same thing with you, uh, Matthew. How's your approach in the rain and the wind? Uh, maybe just trying to keep it under the wind a little with the irons, but also the greens will probably be softened from the rain, so they're more gettable conditions, I guess. Okay, so when you woke up this morning, were you a little bit angry because it was rainy and windy? Uh, because most golfers love that sunny and, and beautiful day, or it was just, okay, well, I gotta go golf. Um, I was a little nervous that the tournament might get canceled, but I wanted to play, so that's why I was angry, but not really. The conditions don't bother me too much. Okay, and Andrew, um, same thing with you. It's, it's uh, rainy, windy, it's a new golf course for you. Tell me about your approach. Um, I actually like this overcast weather. I feel it's easier to play in for me because the greens are softer, easier to go at. Mm -hmm. What about you, Matt? You've uh, coming from Florida, uh, our champion, tournament champion, last two. Um, I guess I just have to be play it a little more safe and be uh, not go for as many shots as when it's a sunny day. All right, superstitions. Every golfer or every athlete has some sort of superstition before they, they got on the golf course. Uh, what about you, James? Do you have any superstitions? Do you eat a different meal when you go golfing on the tournament? Uh, I don't really do anything different. I just come out and are ready to play like I normally do. Okay, I heard something about three T's in your pocket. Tell me about that. Yeah, I like three T's in my pocket. I don't know why. I just like three T's. So what if your father put in a fourth T in your pocket? Would that uh, mess you up for the day? If I didn't know about it, no, but if I knew about it, it might. <laughs> okay. All right, Matthew, what about you? Any superstitions? Any pregame meals? Anything that you do before a tournament? Not really. I just try and get here like an hour before and practice all the aspects. Um, hitting range balls, chipping, putting, just to get ready. But nothing else, really, that's that different for All right, so if they just dropped you off at the first hole, would that mess you up then? Yeah, because I, I wouldn't, I'd be a little nervous because I wouldn't know how I was hitting the ball for the day. So you need that mental approach going into it. Okay, Andrew, what about you? Uh, I don't really have any superstitions going into golf. I'll just treat every round like a nice, fun practice round. I feel that's how you do the best. All right, coming from New Jersey, that's a little bit of a trip, almost two hours. Does that play any effect on this? Uh, not really, no. I'm used to sitting all day in school, so the car ride didn't really affect me. <laughs> okay, what about you, Matthew? Any tees in your pocket? No, I actually always put my right shoe on, though, before my left. All right, why, why is that? I don't know. I'd feel weird if I put my left on before my right. I feel like I couldn't swing. All right, so if you didn't, so if the, in the morning something happened, you, you weren't thinking, you were watching TV or something, you put your left shoe on first, is that going to mess you up for the day? Probably. <laughs> okay, so you see everybody has some sort of superstition here, okay? We're approaching the 136 tee off time, so we're going to meet everybody back on course uh, on hole number one, and we'll continue the pregame show into the course, and we'll start the tournament here at Mill Pond Golf Course. Ray Coyne signing off. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Back here, Ray Coyne with the UCCA Junior Golf Tournament here, Full Harvest Tour here at the Mill Pond Golf Course. Before we get to the first tee, tee off, we wanted to talk to Matt Galino about Florida. Tell me about the UCCA National Championship in Florida. Matthew did represent New York down in Florida. Tell me about Florida. Oh my God, it was amazing. So much fun. All three days, it was great competition down there too. Okay, how was the course? Beautiful, beautiful, perfect condition. Greens were nice. And the course was nice and soft, so ball, ball didn't roll out as much. Okay, and overall, how did you play? I played all right. I, I finished fourth down there, and I felt like I could have done a little better. Okay, so now we're starting 2013. Are you shooting to go there next year? Absolutely. Okay. All right, thanks again. Uh, back here, uh, Macalino. He's going to start off on team number one here at Mill Pond Golf Course. Good luck today. Thank you. Okay, uh, back here live here at Mill Pond Golf Course. We're here at hole number four. Matthew Galindo. This is a very, very short par. It's a par three. Matt really got a nice shot on that one. Beautiful shot. He is right on the tee. One of the best shots I've seen here. At the mill pond, this is a very, very tricky hole, and Matt did a very good job with that. Uh, Andrew Nappy is now up to the plate, as I like to call my baseball reference. Andrew Nappy coming from New Jersey in the 15 to 18 age group. 
on a par three. And you really had a nice shot as well. He is right on the green. A beautiful shot by Andrew Nappy. These kids are really nailing this ball. Um, so the first two right on the green, right by the flag. Par three, a very tricky hole here at Mill Pond. And the first two have nailed it. Okay, Matthew Catton now stepping up, as we call him, number three out of the group. He will be shooting again, par three here. A very, very tough hole, very tricky hole. Matthew Kenton. Steps in, as you noticed his fluorescent ball. Matt hits a very nice shot onto the green as well. Look at this. Number three, right onto the green. These kids are hitting this hole. I could tell you from my own experience, I don't think I come cl came close to that flag. I think I hit it into the woods, but that's why I say it's very tricky. But this is uh, James Knight, who is going to hit cleanup here. James is, you know, rough out of the gate, but this kid is skilled enough to make a serious comeback here. James, another great shot. He is going to be right on the green. He is just short of the green. A still good shot by James. So we will be back for the greens. All right. Tom Philgate here from Global Recreation Network, the GRN Fall Harvest U-Triple-S-A Golf Tournament and Mill Pond Golf Course. In the 15-18 age category, Andrew Nappy, our overall winner at plus 20. In the 12 to 14 age category, we had Matthew Glindo at plus 23. And I will start with Matt. Matt, what do you think about the overall tournament this time around? Oh, it was so much fun. I had a great time. It was uh, great. Yeah. What about the weather? How do you think that played in the, into, the, uh, in, into the game today? It definitely affected us because we had to sit for a while and we got tight. But as we started playing, we found our momentum again. Andrew, our overall winner. What did you think about coming to Long Island for the first time and uh, playing out here at Mill Pond? I really enjoyed L Long Island. I think it's really nice. Um, I really liked the course. It was nice. Yeah. Any uh, Anything different about this course than uh, some of the other ones that you've played? Most of the courses in northern New Jersey where I live, they're more narrow with a lot of trees. This course was really wide open, more link style, and I, I enjoyed that a lot. And it's Matt Catton, finished second in the uh, 54, 12 to 14 age category. Matt, what did you think about your game today? Um, it took me a little while to find it on the front nine, but then towards the end I got it back, and then we had to go inside because of the rain. I lost it for a while and got it back on the last six holes. On the back. Yeah, it looked like you finished up strong here in the last few holes, so what do you think was different about that? I was a little more confident with my ball striking and my putting towards the end. And James Knipe here finished third in the 12 to 14 age category. James, you struggled a little bit on the first day, but you had a really good day today. Uh, finished 10 over today, tied for the lead for the day. What do you think uh, played a part into your different day today from yesterday? Well, I just was hitting the ball better and uh, getting more control on the greens because the rain made it softer. Uh, what do you think? Have you played in the rain before? Yeah, I've played in worse rain than we have played in. And... Uh, I think I actually shoot better in the rain. Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay, well, this was our fall harvest tournament here at Mill Pond Golf Course. And once again, Andrew Nappy, the overall winner, will gain a berth to the USSA National Tournament down in Orlando, Florida in 2013, as well as Matthew Galindo for the 12 to 14 age category. So don't forget to check out globalrec.net for our next tournament coming up in October. And thank you very much. Tom Felgate signing off.